we're working out our cows. <laughs> He's taking a jog with us. Jojo's joined the jog. Hey farm fam, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome and welcome to today's video. Guys, do you see this wind coming in? It's like our first very, very cold, I guess I should say. It's not very cold to you guys, but very cold to us here in Florida. It has absolutely been raining for the last couple days. So as you guys can see the title of this video, I realized that I haven't done a full property tour at this property. And of course, we just got a bunch of rain the other day. So you guys are gonna see this property tour with a very wet ground. So that being said, let's just go ahead and get right into it. If you guys are excited to see our full property, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, have a chance for my post notification shout out. Also, you guys, if you wanna see more behind the scenes of my life and of course this video, make sure you just go to Instagram and follow me. It's just at Stephanie Murano. All right, you guys, let's get right into this property tour. So I'm standing right in front of our front gate, right below our ranch entrance that we have. So this is basically the front of our property. To get into the property, I gotta go ahead and put my code in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You guys cannot see the code. It's top secret. Just like that, the gate is opening to the property. Let's go in. So really quickly, I'm gonna give you a little bit of the overview here and then we'll go into the pastures and you guys can see the layout a little bit better. So right here to my right, this is one of our horse pastures. This is our front horse pasture. You might be able to understand this part of where we have in relation to the barn because you guys see the horses go out on this side. So this full pasture right here is for horses and the gate is closing. Now we can go over to this side and this side is for the cows. This is the cow pasture as we call it. As you guys can see, we got a lot of rain and that's kind of where the water holds, but I promise we have been dry for many weeks now and we got a huge storm the last two days because it brought us in a nice cold front. So moving along, this is our cow pasture to my left and to my right is one of our horse pastures, the front horse pasture. When I refer to that, it's over here so they can see basically people on the road, if that makes sense, and so can the cows. And then basically where I'm standing, but right in the middle of me, it would be our house down our really long driveway. So let's go down the long driveway. Blaze, he in fact likes this. This is seaweed at this point, just kidding. So he's drinking and eating grass at the same time, it appears. So some of the water is holding right here into this pasture, not much, but as you guys know, we've been talking about a pond, so we've been thinking of maybe putting it in this pasture. This is our front pasture, um, probably like right past that tree. So this white fence is all our fence, and then there's a fence right here that is our fence that goes all the way down to the barn that's over there. So right now we have Blaze and Louie up in the front pasture here. So from the road, you guys can see this pasture goes all the way back here and to the barn. So we'll keep on going and you guys can see more of the layout. Don't mind our dirty white fence. That looks a little tinge of green in the summer. It gets really green. So as you guys can see, it kind of loops around this way, this pasture. And here's a little loop. And here is the gate. So if you guys have been watching my channel since we moved into this property, this is where we kept the horse trailer right here when we first moved in because we were just getting it all unloaded and everything and this was the area of where the horse trailer went. But now you guys can see it's kind of like a winding driveway. It goes like this and loops that way out to the gate. So as you guys can see from this side, this is the right side pasture. This is where the horses go. And then to the left, this is the cow pasture. And then this is a driveway that goes towards the barn, which will go back there, but I don't want to spoil it yet. And then we have a fork driveway that goes here. This is where our cars go and a little soupy area. That's a koi pond. Yes, this is our makeshift pond when it rains. <laughs> Moving along to the cow pasture here. Moving past this flatbed trailer. This right here, if you come into the property, go here now, because I'm facing towards this way. This would be the right, but it's over here. This is where the cows are. So this is the full cow pasture. So now if you were looking towards my house, you would see on the right side would be our little pole barn, chicken coop, but we're gonna go in this pasture so you guys can get a better look. We're in the side by side, so I don't have to walk. It's a long pasture. The cows love the side by side though, so they are most likely going to chase us. 
Moosey cow, watch out, Jojo. All right, so let's go into the cow pasture. Hi, Jojo. Hello. We don't want anything in here. Usually we bring them hay with the side-by-side. Moose -side. is taking apart our side-by-side -side at this moment. We have some things on here that we were taking back to the fire pit and he's decided that he doesn't want it on the side-by-side -side and he wants it in his pasture. Why would you take that off? He's crazy about the side-by-side. -side. I think he would actually get in and try to drive it if we let him. Okay, now let's continue on with the tour. He's doing it again and he took it off again. Moose. <laughs> I don't know why he's like this. Mike, look at him. He's pulling on this pom -pron. Made friends with pom -pron. He's eating the dead pom -pron. You guys are a tad bit crazy. It's not even good. So we're going to the front, kind of back where we started. I know the cows are going to chase us most likely. Here we go. Keeping up with us. So, so that is the entrance of the property. So you guys are seeing what from this view is the left side now. And this is the cow pasture. We're working out our cows. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking a jog with us. Jojo's joined the jog. So that's the front entrance. And this right here is the rest of their pasture. So the cows have a very large pasture to themselves. And we've been doing a lot of cleaning of the branches in here. The cows. So all of this, when we moved in right here, was all covered in pepper bush, like some people call it. So all of this was basically woods that we've cleared out. And you'll see some of the stumps from it, like right there. So all of this has been cleared out. And then we go back here. Watch out, Jojo. So another big stump right here from pepper bush and then a tree so now that we're back here as you guys can see in the cow pasture um, this is the pole barn that you guys saw us redo and over here is the pig pen their pond is filled up nice and this is the outside part of the pig pen this is the pole barn it is a 36 by 12 foot pole barn there's three stalls um, and right here to the right of the pole barn, we just keep the cow's water trough. So this is what the pole barn looks like. You guys have seen this before. And the pigs get basically, let's call it two stalls. So their area under roof is 24 by 12. Hi piggies. We're doing a property tour. We're showing everybody where you guys live. Next to the pole barn here, we have our shed. That's turned chicken coop, and we have where the cows get fed. We'll move this around, because when they make a mess of it, we move it around. And then, if you guys can see, I am standing in front of my pole barn, looking directly at the barn. So now you guys can see that from the pole barn, you can see the barn, and then from the barn, you can see the pole barn. And then, this fence right here is our backyard. There's Miss Penelope. So, like I said, house is in the middle of the two sets of pastures and then we have the smaller back pasture for the dogs. So as you guys can see, this gate would go into our dog backyard and then this gate goes into our back pasture. It's in the morning, so the chickens are getting let out and they, they're they going to see their pig friends. We're in the cow pasture, house is here, pasture, whole barn, and then chicken coop. This whole fence is an absolute mess because this was also pepper bush, so as you can see, Right here, right here. We just have not yet um, taken out these pepper bushes because you have to pull the whole root out so they don't grow back. Hi Jojo, but we already did this to the other side where the pigs go and this winter this whole fence line is getting cleared out. We're removing all the pepper bush finally and we are putting a brand new fence in because this is just not working out. 
and the cows just destroy any bit of fence that we do have. So now we're gonna go into the back pasture. So this is technically referred to as the back pasture of where our horses go, because we split them. Watch out, Jojo. Go on. Go on, Jojo. So when the cows get out, they'll go to the back pasture with the horses. And they get back there through this, basically. Here is the right side of this pasture. So there's the back of the chicken coop. This is typically where our round pen was, but now it's being just used as like a back fence because Moose decided to do a number on that fence. So as you can see, I'm gonna walk over here and you'll see how we have cleaned out this fence line and put in this fence for the pigs. So now from the back pasture, you see the back of our pig pen. So this is the opening right there where they can get out and go to their back pasture. So this is what I mean by pepper bush. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, some people call it like pepper tree. So this actually was all in our pasture here too. All of this was pepper bush. So those roots are all pepper bush. So this whole thing was covered in pepper bush. So as you can see, that's now on my neighbor's side. So the remaining is just on their side. And then right now is where I'd be standing inside the round pen technically, but it's all overgrown obviously. And the round pen is now being used as just a reinforcement for that fence back there, just because Moose likes to do a number on the fences around here. So this is a full overview of the back pasture. So let's go ahead and get back in the Polaris and we'll take you around to see the pasture. Looking from the back pasture over here, we have cow pasture and then we have our backyard pasture, and then we have the barn over there. And the mic. And the mic, yes. We're basically all covered by brush, let's call it, enclosing our whole property. So we're gonna take you over to the back corner of the property, because it's kinda neat. Dinky likes to hang out back here, but she's in the barn. I'll show you where Dinky's little hangout spot is. So all of this is like woods back here. That's how we get a lot of critters into our pasture, like the coyotes and foxes, is because we are almost all surrounded by woods. So if you guys see, it's almost like a little creek when it gets filled with water. So this is the back of our pasture here and it's hog fenced right here. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera, but this is a little fence right here between here. And there's a little opening, but as you can see, the creek goes all the way through. And then right here, it's actually like a drainage ditch, but it looks like a creek, so it's kind of cool. I want to try to cross it so I can show you guys where Dinky hangs out, because she hangs out right here. So technically, that's the end of the property, because you can see the square fence right there. So this ditch, like creek thing, runs through the property. And then that's more of the property, but let's see if I can jump it. Okay, guys, she can jump it. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, okay. She did it. You think I can do it? Yeah, definitely. Hey. So this is Dinky's like prime spot to hang out there. Dinky poop. <laughs> and it's so cute because she likes to just sit right here. So oftentimes if I can't find Dinky, she's undercover here. And this is why I don't really feel bad like taking out the woods like we're going to show you because they still have this area to kind of go under if they need. So it's really cool back here. It was a lot like more dense and I think she cleared a bunch of it because she loves this little area and it's really, really cool back here. Like in weather, not like cool, like it's cool and fun. I mean, that might be cool and fun to her, but <laughs> to me, I mean like it feels nice down here. So she walks through the little ditch creek thing, but it's not always filled with water and she comes and hangs out right here. This is her little space. So this is her little den. So now you guys know, thank you, den. Oh my gosh, that has a ring to it. Thank you, den. All right, well, let's get to Dinky's Den so I can finish showing you guys the rest of the pasture. So moving away from Dinky's Den, now you guys will see this is the middle of the pasture. So this back pasture is pretty large, and we have our little fire pit right in the middle here. What? Ah! We always find stuff in the pasture. I don't know why it's in here, but thank you, property tour. Finders keepers. Right? Oh my gosh, I just found a tail bag too. This is like a scavenger hunt. I was looking for this. This is my bio main tail bag that Juni decided to take off. So we've got two things that we found. Hopefully we find some fly moss. That'd be nice. Yeah, make sure uh, 
If you guys happen to see a red or maroon lead rope. Oh yes, we're missing that. Yeah. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys see it. Tell us where it is if you see it. We can't find it. So the property has some like low spots like right here. We've kind of thought about making this a pond because it's so low already, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna fill it in when we do our clearing more and you guys will see that in the future. But it just gets like low, like that looks so deep, it's crazy. So now you guys can see from this angle, that's my neighbor's property over there and this is what I'm saying, we're all covered by like woods. So that's the corner right over there is Dinky's Den and then all this is covered. This is all pepper bush, by the way. Um, so eventually maybe we'll clear that. We kind of like the privacy back there and then the shade for the animals to just go and hang out in. And then now we're gonna go towards the dreaded woods. This is so densely wooded. So this densely wooded area, I think we looked it up, it's about like almost a half of an acre. Um, so we're gonna go in it, it's pretty neat. Um, we always like think it's really cool because the horses will go back in there and it's like a completely different dimension of our property. So let's head there. So going this way, it's pretty wet right here. And, but back here it's crazy. We don't know why, but like I said, it, it's so interesting that this is on our property because look at how deep this is. It just like drops off, so we're not gonna go into it, but it's pretty crazy. I wish it was dry so you guys could see, but it's really interesting. It's like a whole different like property back in here. So it's really interesting. This is like a very deep pond into the woods. I feel like it's not very like Florida. I don't know. It looks somewhere else. Like it's very swampy. Yeah. So yeah, this is part of the woods and I cannot wait till this is gone because I don't like the thought of what goes into here. Backing out of this little area here so you guys can see another view of how wooded this is and I cannot wait till the woods are gone. And we, like I told you guys in a previous video, we are getting rid of these woods, but we're going around the woods. As you guys can see, this is where the woods are in correlation to our barn. So here's this little part that the horses have cleared so much of this, but check this out. This is crazy because this was so much more dense. The horses have done a lot of good work in here. So as you guys can see, it's very interesting looking now that it's filled with water. But this is what the inside of the woods look like. We're gonna continue to go around the back of the woods and then we'll take you guys kind of through and see if we can find anything in here because we always find some really cool stuff in these woods, but literally you can hardly see the sky. Jenny girl! She's like, what are you guys doing back here? So, this is a good side view of the barn. <laughs> Jenny, do you wanna come hang out with us in the woods? Hey, Jen. So over here, this is our back like running area where we turn the horses out and in, and then that little chicken coop. So now we're coming to the side of where we can kind of enter the woods with the side by side. You guys envision there's our barn, and then there's the woods, and then for again a placement all the way back there is Dinky's Den. So here is my neighbor's side over here. Oh boy. We're taking the side by side. Basically this is just on the edge here of the property so you guys can see the fence and if you guys remember when i moved in i would take pictures of the donkeys back here so this is where the donkeys live so dinky will come over here and say hi to the donkeys and stuff there's the cute little donkeys so those are my little donkey neighbors and that was a lot of motivation for us to get dinky because we really like those donkeys we thought they were so sweet so yeah if that makes sense in relation to where our woods are so here's inside the woods here Trying not to get attacked by branches. So now we are at literally the back of the property. So this is like the opposite side of where Dinky's Den is. And then this is where, again, like that creek runs through. This is the drainage ditch and it goes all the way back here. Can you guys believe this is like part of our property? I always feel like it's so weird when I come back here. I'm like, my house isn't like a little bit away, but look at this. Remnants. This, this looks like Trigger's hair. hair. No, look, there's black in it. You think so? Definitely not Trigger's yeah, that's, hair. Yeah, that's Trigger's. This is Trigger's hair. I can feel it too. I know Trigger's hair when I find it. So as you guys can see the trails, you can easily figure out where the horses go by lots of horse poop. And this looks pretty fresh because this is still really green. But if you go back here, this is still the whole drainage ditch here, which is super interesting. That's why I really can't wait to see what this is gonna look like clear because it's just gonna be so like different. It's gonna be crazy. We have this big pine tree as it lays down. Um, it fell, I guess. So let's go into the woods so you guys can see and complete this property tour. 
because what would it be without going in here? Yeah, let's take a trail ride. So the trails are so tiny because obviously the horses and their little legs just go through here. And then there's spots where it pretty much opens up where they can hang out. So I'm sure right here, this is a good spot for them to hang out. But you guys can see like right through it now. When we first moved here, you could not see through it. We're so thankful that the horses have really sealed a lot of this out. Now we can actually walk in here without ducking. This looks like a central area, I'm gonna say, because there's literally so much poop right here. Yeah. And it's like pretty open in here. So we can take it all the way through. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is like a stereotypical leaf. A fall leaf. So cute. So going on, moving through. So if I was to keep walking this way, straight, I don't know if you guys can see through the trees. That's our barn. And then if I was to walk this way, that was where we kind of just peered in through that little watery area. And then coming all the way through here. It's just so interesting to go back here and see everything. We haven't found anything yet though. Huh, which way should we go? Mm. Let's keep going this way so we can pop out at the barn area. We're actually almost to the barn. Well, at least to where we can see the barn. A little bit more ways away. It's so funny, all the horses. They even come through here. This is, this is Dinky's poop. It's smaller. Did Dinky, Dinky knock that tree down? Maybe. Pretty strong. Judy, we emerged in the woods. <laughs> so this is where the barn is. So we've successfully made it from the front to the back. Hi, June. She's probably so confused what we're doing. Juni doesn't really come back in here often. All right, well now we have to go to the back to go get the side by side. But now you guys can see, cause I'm right behind the barn, little Juni girl. So those are the woods. Again, I'm gonna use this for reference. Dinky's den is all the way over there. The woods, back here, chicken coop. So this is the little run out area that we have. So the back of the barn, horses will come this way. And this is that front pasture that I was showing you guys that the horses go in the front pasture. So this is just a little area back here. This is kind of like our catch-all. We obviously have our manure spreader when we clean stalls. So this is kind of where we keep this here. And then back here, Junie's gonna go take a ride in the side-by-side. -side. So this is the back pasture that I was just in. And then the catch-all, and then the front pasture like you guys had seen. And why, I was telling you guys, we are thinking of putting the pond in this pasture because Look at how wet this gets. If you guys have watched my videos in the early summertime, you guys will see that this whole pasture was like this for a good while, but the front of the pasture stays dry. Oh, FedEx is here. So that's why the horses will stay up there and we have some casual birds. So when we dig the pond up front, there's gonna be a ton of fill dirt obviously coming out. So then all the fill dirt will go right here. We've considered putting the pond here since it already gets like this, but it's too close to the barn. So it just makes sense if we put the pond up front, have all the fill dirt here. So that's kind of the plan. And the chickens like to hang out back here. The um, cats will hang out back here as well. So this is just like a catch-all area, like I said. And now this would be the back of the barn. So you would go through the barn. See the goats? Hi, goats. You guys wanna go play today? We've been letting them play with the horses in the pasture. So looks like they want to go play. Then we'd walk through the barn of course, have to say hello to Traeger. Hi, Traeger. And then over here, now I'm on the complete opposite side of the pole barn, as you guys saw. So now I'm in front of the barn. Then we have our dog pasture, and then we have the cow pasture over there. And then the back pasture, and this is where we keep our horse trailer. So this is that driveway. When I showed you guys earlier that the driveway veers off, and this is where it goes. Going down the driveway here, Again, it forks right over there. That's when I showed you guys that it forks so you guys can kind of understand it now better. Kind of going back to where we were before, cow pasture would be over there. Front horse pasture is over here. Now we've kind of ended up again where we were before. So as you guys can see behind me would be the entrance of the property. So this is pretty much how the whole property looks just going down the winding driveway and then you would exit the property so I hope that gives you guys some clarity I realize you guys always ask about how the pastures work and everything like that me forgetting that I've never done a property tour at this property so there it is you guys that's how the property is set up 
If you guys liked today's video, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, have a chance for my post notification shout out. Today's shout out goes to all you guys. I love you and I'll see you in the next one.